Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, back with a Firewall Zero Hour news update. So a new update is coming next week folks, and we even know some of what's coming in the new updates, thanks to a comment from Hess Barber himself over on Reddit. So Hess posted in a thread that was lamenting First Contact Entertainment's lack of more open communication with the Firewall players, so Hess responded with a long comment explaining why they are unable to tell us things unless they know for sure they can deliver. Now they do this in order to protect their reputation and to protect the reputation of their partner, in this case their partner being Sony themselves. Hess also mentioned that developing a multiplayer game for virtual reality is much more difficult than it is for a 2D game, and this is partly due to the delicate balance between improving the game while maintaining the performance. So as you may have heard by now that VR games they need to run at a much higher frame rate and a much more consistent frame rate than your typical flat game and this is taxing on the PS4. Importantly Hess also mentioned that the team are testing out multiple types of server configurations. Now this would be to deal with the biggest complaint about firewall which is the lack of host migration and matchmaking dropouts, stuff like that. But the big takeaway from all this stuff that Hess is telling us here is that their hands are tied when it comes to being forthcoming with what they are working on. And just because we don't hear them confirm certain things doesn't mean they aren't working on them. It just means that they can't 100% guarantee that whatever feature or improvement that they may be working on will make it into the game, so they remain silent instead. Now, on to the juicy bit. At the end of Hess's post, he reveals that a new patch is coming next week and lists out what we can expect to see inside us, so let's take a look at this. So number one, the melee through the wall bug will be fixed. I know some people were complaining about this, it doesn't happen too often, but on certain maps there are certain locations where you can stab someone through a wall. Very annoying, I'm, I'm sure, if you're on the receiving end of that, but yeah, that's going to be a thing of the past. Number two, matchmaking bug fix. And specifically, this will improve level matchmaking. So with this fix, this should, in theory, level you with people with a similar rank to you, rather than having a full team of 50s going up against a full team of level 1s, stuff like that. So hopefully this will make the matches nice and balanced. So the third point then is that the red dot sight slash hollow size accuracy will be improved. Now it's interesting that he lists both hollow sites. From my understanding, thanks to a video by Mizu Madman, go check him out by the way. He tested both of those hollow sites, or both of those sites I should say. The red dot site is actually fairly accurate, it seems to the bullets go where it's pointing to. It's the hollow site that isn't accurate. So maybe Hess didn't mean to say red dot site, maybe it's just the hollow size. But we'll see, we'll see what changes with that hollow sites and the red dot size. Point number four then is that there's going to be revive system improvements. Now who knows what that could mean. Is that going to mean that when you're downed you might be able to move around or something like that? I can't really think of what that could be. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know down in the comments below what you think that might be. Point number five then is other overall bug fixes and improvements. That's always in the patch notes. That's kind of very general. There might be some very small things causing blue screen crashes or whatever. Finally, he says that also various brand new surprises and then in brackets beside us who's been messing with the laptops in shoot house what the fuck so that last one might be the most interesting i've seen some people speculating already that he is hinting about laptop placements being altered in the shoot house map some other people seem to think it might even be a new game mode it's going to be very interesting to see what these other unlisted changes will be and luckily we won't have to wait long to find out when the patch drops i will of course be streaming it to see what changes that we can find and then I'll make an analysis video about it once we learn the concrete details and get more information. That's it for this news update lads and ladies. Let me know what you think Hess might be teasing us with in the comments below. I love to hear everyone's theories and speculations. You know it gets me wicked moist. Thanks for watching but before I go let me give a quick thank you to my Patreon supporters who are on the screen right now. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I would also appreciate it if you guys would consider doing all that usual shite with the likes and the shares and all that and i'll see you in the next one bye for now